Hi everyone, I'm David from Oster Images. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer from here in Melbourne, Australia. Um, what I wanted to talk to you today was about a, a gimbal that I've just bought, which is the Kane TV Single. Um, I've found that it works fantastic so far with my trials with the A-series cameras. It will work with uh, a lot of mirrorless cameras, just depending on the weight, and I'll talk about the specifications for that shortly. Um, but first I thought I'd take you through the actual uh, unit itself. Uh, and then I'll bring up some specifications. So basically, it's um, quite nice to feel in the hand. There's a nice grip um, here. There's a joystick, and there's also the on-off button. Now, when you're traveling, you can actually screw that off, and then you can put them in uh, individually like that. So you don't have to take it as one large piece, um, which is quite handy for storage. Um, you just got to make sure that when you put it back in, that you do make sure that it's firmly locked on. Um, now to balance it, the best way of doing that I've found is to use something like this little tripod. Um, and there's a little screw on adapter down the bottom that you can just screw this into. So I'll just try and screw it in. make sure it is in firm and then you can just use this to move it around until you find that it's nice and balanced. I like to put the front foot out there because just for when it's not turned on the weight may go to the back so or to the front so yeah so that can leave it like that so it's reasonably centered and then I'm going to mount the camera but before I mount the camera um, I'll talk about some specifications, so we'll look at those now. Okay, so the key features of the Came Single TV is that it is a full three-axis stabilisation device. Um, it has a built-in joystick, and it also is a completely toolless design, which means you don't need to carry any tools with you at all. Um, the, it also has an encoder, which means it stays very stable, and also, you, if you want to stay straight in the horizon, if it hasn't straightened automatically, you can just tilt it and it will lock in that position uh, from that point on. The maximum payload is 1.2 kilogram, which means it can easily fit um, the A7 series cameras. Um, you just have to be careful about what lens uh, you put on. I like to use the 35 2.8, the 55 1.8, and also the 10 to 18. Uh, millimeter lens as well if you need a wide angle. It's 2.6 pounds um, if you're in the US. Uh, yeah, that's it. So we'll get back now to having a look at the actual device. Okay, now that we've looked at specifications, I thought I'd show you how you mount the um, camera to the actual Kane TV single. Um, so I like to actually go from the back when I'm doing this. So I've already got the uh, plate on the bottom of the camera, so I'll bring it in like that. Now, I like to sort of get this roughly right before I tighten these two down. This one here will allow you to move forwards and backwards, which affects this way. The one at the front will affect that way or that way. So what I do is get it so that it roughly sits pretty well correct. I'm then going to tighten this one off. Once that's locked in, then I can work out. Now, it's still going a fraction there, so I might Move this one and touch this way. That's about perfect. Okay, so it's now sitting pretty good. Now, the other thing to do is to hold it this way. So when you're doing it, uh, if you hold it this way and it starts to tilt either this way, top heavy, or the other way, that's where you'll use these two um, here because that will balance it from this way or this way. It's actually pretty good, so I don't have to touch it. But that's how you balance it going that way. The only other thing you will have to balance is, is this here, which if you hold the device up this way and that falls down like that, then you would adjust this, this one forward or back uh, to get it so it sits perfectly level like that. Once you've got that done, that's it basically balanced. Um, so I'll turn the unit on. Now to turn it on, all you do is just hold this here. Now it will then beep. Perhaps I've done a little longer. There we go. 
on it, so now it's actually uh, come on. Now it goes to it, there's a green light at the back that will come on um, to show you that it's actually uh, balanced. Now the joystick then can be used to um, move this up, down, whichever way you want to go. Like that. Now it can be used just like a, a tripod, like it actually just sits there um, really, really steady. So, you know, I'm quite happy even just leaving that, then walking back later on, picking it up again, and then going around. And you'll notice now that it's uh, perfectly balanced. Now, there is three um, different controls. Basically, at the moment, if I turn, um, I'll put it back onto one. Now, if I turn now, the unit, the actual camera will move, and it'll also go up and down. Now, if I go on to program two, it will still turn left and right, but it will no longer go up and down. And if I go on to program three, you can hear the audible beeps, it will now not follow me at all. But again, I can still use the joystick if I want to move around to wherever I'd like to go. Now, if for some reason that um, it didn't sit dead level with the horizon, because this has got encoders, um, all I have to do is basically hold it for a few seconds, about three seconds, and then it will hold that position. Again, if I wanted to bring it up that way, it would hold that position. Um, so it's, yeah, it's really, really good with the encoders to be able to do that. Um, and then it will sit dead level again. Um, now we'll have a look at some images so you can get a, a look at how it actually works. Now I walked over some fairly rough terrain um, and I'm still learning how to use it. You still do have to learn how to use it. I think you have to do quite small steps, um, but I'll get better as I go with it. I've uh, only had this for a week or so. Um, eventually I will start to use some weddings when I'm confident in uh, how it, it uh, looks. But you can have a look at those results now. Okay, now that you've had a look at what it can do, um, I thought I'd also show you how you can use this little adapter on the side. There is a little mounting port or hole there screw. So if I just tighten this up, so I can screw it in. Okay, come on here, screw that in. Loosen this off. What I can do then is do this. Right, so I've tightened that in. I can then open that up, stick my phone into there. Then I can just use the wireless of 
uh, the camera to go directly to there so that now when I'm walking, rather than trying to look at the back of the camera, I can actually look at it on the viewfinder of the unit here. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy. Um, it's not too hard to hold at all, like not too heavy. I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually just use two hands and walk out if you wanted to that way, but I found it's not too bad at all. I mean, you wouldn't want to hold it for um, too long because it still would get heavy. Um, it takes about 1.2 kilos. Um, I'll put in the description before what that was for the um, pounds. Um, yeah, great. I'm really, really happy with it. And if you've got any questions, um, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And please like my page and I will be putting up another video very soon. Um, until then, that's all for now. Goodbye.